Hey everybody and welcome to the new video and this is the next episode of the Real Talk Central podcast. Um, today oh. I am here with the Schwam squad as they Schwam. are Schwam. 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 <laughs> Ten times Jason. Okay, whatever You're it might purpose. be. Schwam, Schwam. But yeah. Um, Schwam, you, Schwam, your mom. Schwam, oh bam, God. thank you, ma'am. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have actually seen um, these guys in a video before. You, you've seen a couple of them. Um, I think you've seen Josh yes. and Ralph. Uh, no, you yeah, think, Josh. dude? No, Way yeah, back, Josh, boy. you were in uh, the bully video, and also you've been in uh, like a bunch of other videos. Ralph has been in a couple of videos too. Mm -hmm. um, the Jake and Ethan, I think this is your first time that you were. Oh, I have to write it backwards. Cool. Yeah. Um, Jacob's been have, here. Yeah, we also have Jacob, who is going to be like sort of in and out of this call. I think he's busy right now. He couldn't stay for like the entire time. But yeah, uh, welcome to the show. I uh, hope you guys um, are like being safe out there during quarantine. Um, we did take a little break on the channel for, um, for Real Talk Central Podcast, as you guys know. But with my return to YouTube, I hope to be back on track. Um, and that includes Real Talk Central Podcast, because this is the one series that I did want to keep even after I came back from YouTube. So I'm excited. Uh, hopefully uh, you guys are excited too. Be sure to follow the Instagram, Real Talk Central Podcast. And um, there you could leave suggestions on what you want to like hear, hear us talk about on the show. And also, you could um, possibly DM us and say like, hey, I want to be a guest on the podcast and we could make it happen. So yeah, this is actually officially season two of Real Talk Central. Season one, there, there was just uh, like a bunch of things that uh, you guys were able to see. And uh, for season two, we're just going to be experimenting with new things. Um, and one of them being is I want to have more guests on the show because I found out from season one that it's kind of hard to do a podcast when you're by yourself. Uh, I feel like that's a huge thing about a podcast that you like go off of each other and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so season two, episode one, this would technically uh, bring us back to episode one. Um, I'm not sure like in the long run, like how, how many episodes we have that goes to show how long it really has been since I recorded an episode. Either way, here we are, and um, I guess we'll just start off with intros. Um, you guys know me. My name Jacob is Jason, left. also 18 Jason M, and um, this is Real Talk Central. Uh, let's go to Jake. Hey, I'm Jake. Uh, I'm a drummer, and these guys picked me up off the street. And uh, yeah, it's fun. Cool. Thanks, Jake. Ethan. Hey, uh, my name is Ethan. I'm uh, I'm the main editor for uh, for Schwam, so I'm just uh, on my computer a lot. So, uh, not pretty much. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Well, thank you, Ethan. Um, you guys can't really see us right now because um, you are currently watching some glorious Minecraft content. Um, this is content. Yeah. Uh, let Let me know if you guys actually want to see like actual video with the podcast, or if you prefer it to just um the audio and you and you guys could look at some gaming content that i like pre-recorded um either is fine i could make it happen like whatever way you guys want um but yeah uh back to the intros ralph well i probably should have prepared something don't you think uh just state your name i'm ralph i enjoy doing nothing i'm lonely hold me oh my <laughs> god jesus nice well then Let's hope Nicole doesn't watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. So, uh, last person, Josh. Hey, what's good? I'm, I'm Josh. Uh, I stream, I play video games, and that's about it. I have too much free time on my hands. Cool. Um, and we, uh, like I said at the beginning, we do have Jacob, who's going to, I think he's going to be like in and out of this call. Uh, he's a part of Schwam as well. Um, but yeah, for right now, um, we're just going to stick with the five of us. Um, hopefully we could hear from Jacob later. Uh, so for today's episode, um, we thought of a subject on what we're going to be talking about. And there was one subject that would be perfect to what's going on right now in the world. You guys guessed it. Actually, you see it because you clicked on the video and the titles there. We are going to be talking about quarantine. All right. Uh, so we have a list of questions that we're all going to be so answering. Um, so yeah. Obviously, you guys know what's going on. Uh, coronavirus has been like a huge pandemic that's been going around. 
Um, everyone is Unless you're in Florida and just don't care anymore. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. It's those Florida mans, I swear. Um, My cousins uh, are out on the beach, is just partying. Exactly. Um, so yeah, everyone's ordered to stay at home. We're all ordered in quarantine. And um, we actually all live in Illinois. And um, our governor has been telling us, like, he keeps pushing back the deadline on when like this whole quarantine is going to expire. He first, he said, oh, it's only going to last two weeks. And then he extended it a month. And then he extended it another month. I feel like it's going to be like eight months long and they're only telling us like 30 days at a time to be nice. <laughs> which which but, is probably smarter than saying you're not leaving your house until September. Yeah, that's because that would, that, would, that would just cause an uproar. Yeah, and no one would like listen now. No, like they're not already listening. No, oh, es- essentially, the reason they do keep extending it is because humans are stupid and keep going outside. Like, the protests I've seen recently are hysterical to me. <laughs> they are – it is mind-boggling to me because I think I saw, like, one where it was, like, a, a bunch of people parking their cars in front of a trauma center. What? What? Yeah. Okay, that's just dumb that's and dangerous. Crazy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my god. That's, like, that's not good, man. It's like, hey, they want to leave their house. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. Um, I, there was also that, that famous protest where a bunch of people showed up with signs saying, like, I want a haircut, stuff like that. Yo, we oh, I mean, <laughs> Suck it up, guy. You have oh, no my God. Come I just on. Not to. I'm, I want to grow my hair. This is yeah, my that was pretty excuse. stupid. Shave your head then. I don't know. It'll grow back. Yeah. Take Favorite hair. sign I've seen was one that said, my body, my choice, and we were driving by me and my mom because we were heading to the store, and I just went, okay, your funeral, too. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's true. It's really true. Um, yep. So, uh, the first question is, uh, what have you guys been doing at home when you're, like, in quarantine? I guess we'll just go down the line. Uh, Jake will go first. Well, since quarantine started for me, well, it just, it started with me not really doing anything just because we, this whole thing started when my school went on spring break. And then we ended up getting a break extension by a week. But then after that, most of my life has been just keeping up with school. And for the most part, anyways, even if we weren't quarantined, I'm not doing anything. (laughs) I'm a boring person. And I love seeing people just freak out about this whole thing. And I'm just sitting in home and just like, this is normal. This is fine. Like this, for the most part, it's nothing different. (laughs) Because most of the times if I'm leaving my house, I'm just going to see friends or something like that. I'm not really... I'm not really the kind of person that really goes a lot of places. So for yeah. the most part, I can't really say I've been bothered by this whole thing. But to be honest, my life, for the most part, hasn't really changed. I really can't say it has. Because luckily, everyone here is a gamer. So, you know, we already have it made. Gamers prosper in quarantine. Let that be known. <laughs> yeah. I love thing like... I like seeing people running around going, I've ran out of things to do. I'm like, I'm four Assassin's Creed games in. I'm loving life. <laughs> Yeah, I finally completed The Last of Us. Oh my gosh, what the... Right? Oh yeah, did you see the, uh, the trailer for the second one? I'm so excited. Um, that looks be, good. Be careful mm-hmm. though, because uh, spoilers have already like come out somehow from the trailer. Ellie's alive. I, well, I know yeah. Ellie's alive. Yeah. That's um, after I see like, something that, like a trailer or something drops for a game, I stop looking at anything for it, because you know there's going to be those people who are like, they don't want to know what happens. Yeah, I gotta exactly. say, Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. I can't wait. <laughs> I already yeah, I'm gonna be buying that game twice. <laughs> oh yeah, because you're getting it on PC and on console, aren't you? Yeah, I'm getting console for a buddy of mine because we used we played the original one on the PlayStation. We thought it would be disrespectful to play it on something else. <laughs> oh, I actually just got an emulator for it. <laughs> nice. Yep. Um, all right, so Ethan, what have you been doing at home? Um, oh, not much. Just finishing up school and stuff. Um. Just you now trying to get through the rest of the school year. I had a similar situation to Jake where I would, um, you know, had spring break. I got extended and they just said stay home. So, yeah, um, yeah I just been kind of, kind of just finishing up school, watching YouTube stuff. Um, I'm making a, a D&D campaign for my friends when we get back to school to play. So that's, that's just been fun. T- taking up some of my time to do. But no, maybe over um, over the summer or something we could all get together and uh and play like a one shot or something over zoom or something but um yeah it's been just like reading and reading the books and just finishing up school and stuff nothing too insane really totally yeah mm-hmm. nice thank you cool um i just um uh, i think jake is trying to come back in or jacob is trying to 
There's two of us. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there he is. Cool. Watch, watch him do some sort of like. Err. All right. Um. Should okay. Something? Ralph. Yeah, I guess we'll just continue. Um. Cool. Thank you, Ethan. Uh, Ralph, your turn. What have you been doing at home? I just been playing games when I should be doing homework, and I've been buck uh, buckling down and trying to finish the last literal week of school because I am not having it with my teachers at this point. Like I'm, I'm not even putting like full effort. Like I'm gonna get a good grade, so I'm cool with it. Mm -hmm. So Josh, uh, you actually go to the same school as Ralph. So uh, I do. Your take on all of that? Uh, so honestly, honestly, I've been literally so close to finishing with school like I just have my final to do and then I'm pretty much done but other than that I've been playing video games a whole lot of video games and that's actually it I try to do other things but I can't stop playing only because why not I can't I need other hobbies to do this whole thing is I would like to go outside but I can't so viewers uh jacob actually is um he was able to jump into the call so we're gonna do his intro real quick and then since it's his turn to answer the question he could do that as well so you jacob why don't you introduce yourself and then tell us what you've been doing at home in quarantine um nothing but homework but i just finished the other day <laughs> yes that is has amazing. been online for like a yeah. week but whatever <sighs> Okay. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. It was finals week. <laughs> I get you. I get you. <laughs> and homework has been terrible, but I finally finished it, and now we're all good. So I guess that just leaves me. What have I been doing when I'm at Suck home? At um, you guys were able to sum up a lot of it. Um, I've been playing a lot of games. Like I said, I, I was able to finish The Last of Us. Um, I've also been playing a lot of Minecraft. Um, me and some of my uh, friends from college were able to start a uh, Minecraft realm. And um, I've also been playing on a lot of servers. Uh, one of them you are seeing right now on the screen. Um, other than that, I feel like not much. Um, we also um, we also kind of talked about school, how um, it's like going for you guys, how you guys are like kind of finishing up. That kind of ties into the next question, how was like school ending? Um, but my my school, um, we we were kicked off at like when we had like a month and a half left and then we you know we were forced online like everyone else um finals were actually super easy for me because they were open note tests and like the teach the teachers and professors knew damn well that we were going to be using our notes that they they didn't even try to stop us um but yeah must i say it made the end of the semester so much easier for me i feel like a lot of people are being like stressed about like the end of the semester which i could see for me, it was kind of easy, um, though, must I say that the reason the end of the semester was kind of easy is because I barely had any tests. It was mainly just projects, so I guess that's good. Um, other than that, um, I've, been, I've been wanting to get back into YouTube, which is kind of what you guys are seeing right now, and um, also, I have potentially become someone's uh, personal editor for YouTube, and which they are paying me money for, so that's good. So the next question is, how has your work and jobs been affected by all of this? Yeah, I was a, I was a seasonal worker, and uh, okay, with that, with everything going on, they don't have space for me anymore. So mm, yeah. really, and I'm okay with it. Yeah, and I'm okay with it. I didn't, I hated the job. Mm. <laughs> okay, well, what was yeah. it? Oh, warehouse. Oh yeah, okay, I see. Dealership I see. laid off almost everyone. Jesus. All right, uh, Ethan. So what, what's your situation with that? Because I know a lot of people um, are out of work. I mean, I think me and Josh are in the same way right now. I think we both, because, mm -hmm. you know, I work at a, should fast I say food. where I work? I probably fast shouldn't. Food. Fast food. I, work in, I work in fast food, so um, I'm doing, oh, Denny's. And, they're, and they're letting me come back. But the only change is that they're like, like, we, you might not be scheduled as much as you as much as you want to be because of this whole thing. Hopefully, yeah. if this clears up in the summer, I'll get scheduled more. But like, um yeah, that's when the only change really cuz i mean it's fast food's considered an essential business it gives out food and stuff like that so that's i think that's the only reason i have a job right now mhm mm yeah, that's, that's what i've been hearing most is that everyone's just been getting a lot of hours cut what what has you been like your situation i got laid off oh <laughs> that's me to laugh about i'm so sorry <laughs> it's just how we said it yeah 
No, oh, because I like I enjoyed working there, especially the last like few weeks before like the real hard quarantine hit, like when everyone was losing jobs because literally no one there would goes. go in. There goes. No one would go in. So we would just sit around and like do busy work for six hours and just get paid. I I worked overtime so I could get extra money while I was there. Yeah. Then they oh. laid off the entire like the entire sales department was gone. Most of the managers, the entire detail department. It's just service because the car service part is the most essential of business. Like people who need to buy cars will go straight to the managers. But to get your car serviced, all that whole department stays open. So all the service writers and mechanics stayed. Yeah. You want to you want to hear a funny story about a about a, about a car dealership that I learned that I found out about a few days ago? What's up? So my brother's friend, uh, uh, what like services cars and washes them at a dealership, and so uh, this woman comes in, and goes, "Hey, can I uh, oh, get a car?" I, I did tell you this story. It's like, "Hey, can I get my car washed and everything and all that stuff?" So she gives them the keys and they drive it through. For, they drive it through for her. They clean stuff up for her. Like they clean the outside, the interior, all that stuff. After they're done, she goes, "Oh, by the way, I had the coronavirus." Oh my gosh. Oh wow. my god. It's like, yeah. do you not understand that you just infected like 20 people because oh you gosh. just wanted to get your car cleaned? No. Okay, that's not even like that's not okay. That's, that's, that's not okay. That's pretty serious. This that's is what like, I was talking bad. about with stupid humans. Exactly. Yeah. Back to the point of stupid humans at the first at the first point of the podcast. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh. It's like, that's seriously? Bad. No. That's why I love watching Natural Selection at work. <laughs> Honestly, really? like as horrible as it is like let's just weed out some of the stupid people like i know i'm a stupid person but it's, but yeah, little, stupid. it's not stupid it's called common sense i feel like we're all an expensive a, bitch man we're all in like a problem right now but uh but, um, um, let's go to josh how how have you been like dealing with this whole thing i know that like you kind of have the same story as ethan you were saying yeah yeah me and ethan both work at the fast food except i actually make the food so i think just today or no way was it last week or something they uh the government issued like that everyone wears a mask at all times mm -hmm. so and i and i make the food so Don't do i that. sweat a shut up jacob i'm telling a story sponsor me telling <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> no but anyway but just to cap it all off um so basically everyone has to wear a mask which makes yeah. sense, but I just know it. I'm gonna like suffocate. Yeah, that's true. Point that out there. Mm -hmm. um, Jacob, uh, ha have you have you been working at all, Jacob? And uh, if so, like, how have you been affected by that? What's a job? <laughs> yeah, I've never worked a day in his life. Cool. <laughs> no. Dude, I know, you, I know you did. I know you did. Dude, the man was gonna do something this summer, and then this shit happened. Womp womp. Honestly, yeah. yeah that's true so yeah jacob um talk 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 about um the job that you were gonna have this summer but unfortunately it was like canceled because of this whole thing well i was thinking either a job at the mall either a job at the mall or uh umpiring because they give like 20 bucks per game dang all right that's good that's i good. mean are you well, guaranteed I an umpire job well i don't know i mean like it depends it depends on like uh what age the kids are at and also um it depends on like how many umpires are there so if it was just by myself and it was like around 10 year olds i get around like 50 bucks dang okay that's good uh jacob plays baseball for context if you have, couldn't figure it out already but um yep. all right um so I as for me i'm not like laid off or anything but i'm just not working at all Literally, I have no shifts. I haven't had like a shift in like the last month or whatever. And uh, I'm not sure when this is supposed to end. Um, I, uh, I work at a cupcake shop and um, I've, I've worked there for actually about a little bit over a year now that I just realized. Go no same. And um, so I'm actually kind of in a tough situation because I, um, I'm actually studying abroad in England uh in the spring semester of 2021 and i am supposed to be saving a lot of money for that trip and i was supposed to be making that money right now um and i had like everything planned out where i would like work 
like the, this many hours per week and like it was literally perfect where I made the recommended amount that they tell you to bring that I would be making that amount and but now like this whole thing has been like such a delay luckily I am moving and I think in one month that um, I'm moving to a new apartment that is like four blocks away from my work so um, I could get to work easier and I could see if they need any extra help there and anything that there is for me to take on you know that I'm definitely going to be taking those shifts because I need it right now but yeah it's kind of been sad that like no one's been working um because like I check on the on the scheduling app that we use and literally nobody like there's barely any workers like at all that are there but yeah so, so like if you kinda, what's sorry up? so like do, do you think your plans are gonna so like if you don't think if you can't get like the work that you need are you just not going to study abroad? Or are you still like going no matter what? I, I'm, I'm going no matter what because I want to make this happen. I'm not going to let anything stop myself. Uh, I might not be able to go on like, like all the great excursions that I wanted to because of money problems. But um, I, that, that's a part of the reason why I'm like picking up some editing jobs. I've also been like uh, editing videos for my dad and and a bunch of other things. And that might just be like a good idea right now, just to do like the random stuff on the internet, just to get yeah. something at least. You know, I, video. I've, I've just been like looking at like different Trying to bring things in that money. to like, uh, yeah. you know, make money on the side because I'm not like doing my main job right now. Don't be yeah. a hooker. That's basically, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Um, so yeah, that's basically what's going on with everyone. Uh, the next question is, um, what future event were you looking forward to that was now canceled? I was going to go to Disney World over spring break. Dude, no. I was, I was, oh, my God. Okay. So, yeah, talk about that because I have to go off of that. So, I'm actually going to go okay. with you. So, we had been planning this since my high school graduation. Really? Because we were waiting for Star Wars Land to come out because, like, they announced it, like, the year we were graduating. Oh, that sucks. Oh, my God. And then – and I'm like, I'm getting so hyped for this. And then like the whole, like the whole pandemic thing was starting and I'm like, Oh God, I don't know if this is going to happen, especially since I'm going to Florida of all places. And then no, all work. I'm thinking is, all right, well, I haven't heard anything yet. And then, so I came home on a Saturday. Uh, so the Friday before mm -hmm. uh, I get a call the Friday night, I get a call from my parents like, you know, we're like, we usually like, talk about like how they're going to get me and all that stuff, like plan out everything. And then they go, Hey, uh, yeah, Disney's closed. I'm like, I'm not surprised. Yeah. I'm like, dude, this is, uh, I can't say I was, I was expecting it to happen to be yeah. honest. Cause like, it, it, just cause like every, everyone was like starting to really start to like panic about this whole thing, you know? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go. Off, I'm gonna go off that, so I'm just gonna go now. I'm actually supposed to be in Disney right now. Um, I was I was supposed to land in Disney like five days ago, and um, me and my me and my mom, and my sister have been planning this trip uh, for a while. Um, and I was really sad because um, this I was gonna be back in Disney for the first time after I got my Disney tattoo, so I was super excited. Um, mm. And you know I'm I'm obsessed with Disney, like literally, like my yeah. whole like Disney, like I'm, everything is Disney for me. And um, I try to go to Disney as much as I can. And for this trip to be canceled, I was super freaking sad. And you want to know something funny? What's we up? have rescheduled it because we, we had planned to go in March mm -hmm. and we were going to go this month because, you know, no one was like thinking, okay, this isn't, this isn't going to go into, into like June or May or anything like that. We had planned to go May 30th. And then we find out that the stay at home stay at home order is being extended to May thirtieth. Oh, in Florida. Yeah, and then and here too in to Illinois. To be fair, you could just pull you up can, to Florida. They probably open. Yeah, you can. I mean, they have no, they're Disney not open. In, they have Disney in Florida. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's where I, that's where we were going. We were going in Florida. That's still closed. No, oh, oh, really? they'll they'll be before us. I'll tell you that. Yeah, they're still they're yeah. still closed. I'm saying they'll be open before we are. Oh, yeah, Dang. they will be. Obviously, me and Jake yeah, are Jacob. very sad that we're not uh, in Disney. Um, how about Ethan? Uh, you share, has, has there been anything that, like, has been canceled for you? For me? Uh, I don't know. I guess it was just going, like, getting a better work schedule, I guess. I never had any, like, I didn't have any, like, trips planned or anything like that. But, oh, yeah, um, so that kind of ties into the whole work thing again. 
Yeah, I just I didn't have any like trips or anything planned. I just planned to come back home and work again. So yeah. nothing outside of it really canceled. Just uh, you know, hanging out with people and doing all that stuff just kind of made that harder. Yeah, I miss kissing um, the homies good night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ralph, is there anything that uh, happened with you? Stuff that was canceled. I'm really boring. So no, <laughs> I stay at like what, what Jake was saying forever ago. Like I stay home and do this every day. Like I'm just on my computer, unless someone forces me to leave my house to do something social, I'll be inside. You yeah. see, sir, I am an, I am an introvert. I'm an introvert in an introvert <laughs> paradise right now. Like I, I've, I've been down here for like days at a time. I'm in a basement, by the way. This is an, in, mm-hmm. this pandemic is an introvert's wet dream. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Extroverts crazy. out here shitting themselves because they don't know what to do with their lives. All right. <laughs> Imagine Should've... going through quarantine without video games, L. Oh my god. Dude, yeah, my brother's honestly. going insane. Oh my god. He bought a PS4 because he had he would have nothing else to do. Oh my Dude, gosh. I'm, I am so thing, close bro. to buying an Oculus, you have no idea. You're kidding. <laughs> an Oculus. The Dude. I know, and especially because I'm in a basement now, like I got the space. You do. Yeah, it's true. And Oculus, it's it's I mean, obviously it's like shut up, Jacob. Obviously, the Oculus like is a couple hundred, but they got some like new fancy ones out there. I've seen like the real high ends that were like fifteen hundred. They they've got the wireless Oculus to it. Um, so That's you don't what I'm gonna be like, going for. That. Yeah. So that way, you don't I, have to put cameras up. I would be like um, getting all these new like systems and like consoles and everything, but that goes back to how I'm not making any money. I'm not spending money Ew. until I start making it again. You know. So. Yeah, I That's have to make a lot myself. Right now. Yeah, uh, Josh, is there anything that um, you were looking forward to? Uh, this was sort of like a back and forth kind of thing because I wasn't sure if I, if I was going to go or if I wasn't going to go. It was like tossed around a lot. But uh, you guys remember how the Olympics was supposed to happen this year, right? Yeah. That oh, I totally oh, yeah. forgot. Mm-hmm. I was supposed – my family was playing a trip to go to Japan during the olympics wow. no fucking way. dude we go to the olympics in japan mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that would have been amazing oh yeah. i am sorry i mean i wasn't gonna go or like i wasn't going to like be in the olympics but i was just gonna be present while the olympics <laughs> i'm gonna be gonna in the go same on. country as them yeah. i mean it's better than not than not going just being like a part to like see the olympics the yeah. historical olympics oh my gosh remember yeah, when 2016 it, yeah. was supposed to be in chicago Dude. Oh yeah, but then we lost to Brazil or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we lost to the Zika virus. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> While you chose the Zika virus over a city that is clean. Yeah. <laughs> Making a lot of assumptions, guy. We all. Oh, know. that's a bold. That's a bold. That's why I said. Th- that's why I said clean with quotations. <laughs> Well, see, like, Chicago is much cleaner than New York because in New York they have like trash oh bags God, running yeah. their streets and everything. Yeah. If you play Spider-Man PS4, you'll know. <laughs> New Orleans <laughs> is actually full of garbage. Like there are genuine streets that people like that. There is just piss in the streets. I think the the top three cities that are home to the most rats, I believe, um, is New York, LA, and no, wait, it's New York. Um, London Gosh, and I think LA. I'm not sure. So <laughs> Jacob, uh, what about you? Is there anything? My season is basically over. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, yeah, that's True. right. I I'm upset by that, but I'm kind of I'm somewhat glad coronavirus happened because I would have failed one class. <laughs> really? You're same. Uh, okay. Oh, I I would have failed a class so hard. It was so bad. Like the first, you have no idea how hard tests were. What class was this? What kind of yeah, class I was is it? What class? Architecture history. <laughs> Isn't that what? Oh, okay. Never mind. You had to remember like around sixty buildings and like what? Like around sixty buildings. Like you had to remember that, and he only like gave us like. So yeah, like four out of the sixty, you have to remember that. Oh you got you. Shake <laughs> um, <laughs> um, your face here. <laughs> yeah, like, what? and on the first test, it. I got an eighteen out of a hundred. It was it was oh bad. My God. <laughs> like, oh my god! It, it was that bad of a test. Like, and you had That's to like, rough, dude. Yeah, it, it was it was it was bad. So, but like now I'm in I'm in school or like I'm at, at home, home. So, 
I mean, yeah. wait, do you all have right. to retake that class at all, or? No. Because, Sweet. like, yeah, I only, the only bad thing I did was that test, but everything else I did good See, at. that kind of goes back to the whole thing I was saying about how um, Corona made my semester easier, because uh, I had this one class, it was anthropology, it was the worst class of the semester. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, it was kind of pointless. It was a gen ed, and uh, luckily, um, Corona was able to save me from it. Um, I'm probably going to pass fail that, which is another thing that, that came out of the semester is the pass fail option. Um, I'm a bit torn about it just because I, I, I feel like personally, it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like uh, fluctuated for me. Like it's, it's both gotten better and it's both gotten worse. That's true. Know? Yeah. Just because I don't know about you guys, but as this pandemic just keeps going and going and I'm still in school, my motivation is declining. Yeah, same. I think that's Down more from everyone's. Okay. Pretty much, yeah. Like uh, what I was, uh, what I was explaining to like, um, you know, my, my like friends and my parents and stuff like that was that, um, just my brain. When you're at home, you don't have to work. Right. <laughs> so like different it, environments. Yeah, pretty much. So it's just like, oh, this this isn't gonna be good. But I've kept it together. I've kept it together. B A's and B's. So oh, that's good. I've kept good. it relatively together. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, I don't know if you, uh, if I could do this, but I was gonna add in like, what's like the positive about this whole pandemic? Um, that was gonna like, be like, we have two more questions, and that was one of them. Oh, really? Sweet, dude. Yeah. Do I win a prize? I can't get no. Post. That's a bad thing. <laughs> hey, shut up. I know. Me too. Okay. So um, so yeah, so we have two more questions, and um, I guess the first one would be, uh, what positive has come out of coronavirus? Uh, we've kind of been able to say with like the end of the semester and everything about how like classes kind of became easier and harder in a way but um so yeah what what are and some positives for you guys that you guys have been able to see through this whole thing Jake I've I've had time to practice drums dude mm, I've had more cool. time for that especially since I'm home now I can I just go and make the time and I, I play I just play for a few hours a day that's it's, good that's good is that like your escape yeah, it is. Nice. It is. That's always and, good. And kind of like what you were saying earlier about like open note shit, that's still, that's applying. And yeah. I, I find it funny. Like I had a couple of professors like say like, oh, you can't do this. We have to follow like an honor system and that kind of thing. And I'm just no. like, yeah, oh, good, cool. good luck enforcing that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like if you, you catch me, buddy. Yeah, if you catch me you're cheating, not what are you going to do? Send me home? You, like, <laughs> <laughs> I love that one. I've seen that. Too. That was good. Yeah, I'm like, home. Yeah. I'll put you system. in systems. They're How are you going to know what's happening? How I'll, put you you in, what's happening? <laughs> I'll put you in Zoom detention. <laughs> for certain uh, systems, the they are trying to implement a way for like when you're taking exams that they can see like when you click off the exam and where you're going to. So yeah, there's really been like different like softwares different. that have been made for that. So they can catch you and catch you when you're doing it. Like, mm -hmm. I'll do that on, like... <laughs> Joke's on them. Got a phone. <laughs> like, I take, I take stuff on my desktop. I go back and forth between my email because, like, what they want us to do is they want us to use an app called Microsoft Lens. So that way we can take pictures and convert them to PDFs. And then we email them to ourselves, and then we just submit them like that. That, yeah. that would be the only... But here's the other thing. And I'm also talking to you guys on a MacBook right now that uh, I also use on the regular with, next to me, so... Uh, yeah, I have that as a resource too. Yeah, that's Our good. People. Yeah. Yo, Ralph and Jacob in Australia. They go with OC down under. here, I'm not going to lie. God, that's it. <laughs> um, right, Ethan? Uh oh, they're stealing gang. Uh, right. So, yeah, Ethan, what, what stuff has, like, what good stuff has come out of good things? Um, I don't know. I caught up on, like, shows and stuff. Um, Watch shows? Huh? Watch shows? Like, like, I mean, like, YouTube series oh, stuff. Oh, I was about like, to say, like... Right. Now, I, don't, I don't watch a lot of, like, TV or, like, Netflix. I'm, YouTube stuff, though. <laughs> I've been get, uh, I'm doing the same thing on Netflix. <laughs> but just, like, YouTube stuff and um, just catching up on series and all that. And I don't know, just... That's pretty much the only good thing I can think about besides, like, just being able to sit and chill, I guess. Yeah. Good. All right. Ralph? Not being forced to leave my house, also being able to be online and 
do games, and I really shouldn't be, but that's my gang. Because my gang, it's my gang. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not like with... you have a choice. You know, you might as well do it. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Like I'll be online with Jake, Josh, and Jacob most nights, just doing anything until we literally gang. don't feel like doing anything <laughs> else Minecraft and just pass out. Minecraft gang, for real. We gotta make we gotta make a server with all of us for swim. Yeah. yeah, but no, Jason doesn't have computers. No, well, that's no, the one thing whatever. he doesn't have. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If we do, it kills it, me uh, is you have a laptop, so you can literally just beep boop done. The thing is, oh. we can we can do it on uh uh like I think like the Windows 10 version, mm-hmm. um, which it, which just does support Bedrock. But then... It supports Bedrock, so <laughs> yeah, we should do that. <laughs> <laughs> We're all converting just for one person. Do I need to Even get though he rock has <laughs> the technology. No, you have my, the technology. No, it doesn't handle. My Mac just doesn't handle Minecraft. I've tried. If you're going to tell me that a the laptop can't handle my, Minecraft, my then Dell you computer need to can set that it. thing on fire. Okay. <laughs> I, I got Josh a computer from like from our high school that's like six years old, and he can run Minecraft on it. You can run Minecraft on your Jason. You're choosing okay. not to. I'll have to see. <laughs> <laughs> I can't play it on the big screen. That's the thing that sucks. Because literally. Oh the, no! What a wait, nightmare! What? What? What's? There's this thing called an HDMI, HDMI guy. My guy. Yeah, I guess I could do that. Oh yeah. Anyway, yeah, one. Um. Yeah, the good things that to play play games and. Uh, yeah, I can only think of other negatives, so skipping. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that that's good. It's good that you were able, that you're able to just you know do more of like gaming, which we, we kind of all want to do. So you, not like we have a choice to do anything else. So you might as well do this. So, uh, Josh. Uh, I'm gonna take it to a, like a real personal level. Okay. Damn. Um, it's actually made me really rethink about what I want to do, because currently the major I'm taking is not because I've been taking this major for like two years and I really hate it and my grades are showing it. So playing video games is literally the only thing I've been doing since, I mean, not even since, but before then. And, you know, playing games has been always my thing to do. So it's, I want to take that risk of just quitting school and going, doing and what I want to do. But there's also that pressure of, if it's going to work or not. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I have like that same question, like for like the path that I want to go down in life, like why am I still in school? You know, I could totally mm-hmm. relate to that. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes you just have to take like a leap of faith. Obviously that there, that requires a lot of thinking. So I guess like it's, it's good that we've been able to like slow down and be able to think with this whole thing going on. Like, honest to God, I might even take this next semester off just so I can try this. Yeah, you know, that that might be a good start. Like, take a semester off to just see how it goes. Like, do a little trial. Mm-hmm. At least just for the next, like, what, five months? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, then again, you also got the summer to think about. And all yeah, that, so right. You got True. some time. You do. Got this whole pandemic to think about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and we don't know when that's going to end. So, huh, hell can, no. I mean, yeah. Cool. Well, thank you so much for sharing. No, that was, that was hey, good. Man, um, Jacob, you, any positives what? that have come out? Well, I mean, I've just been doing homework like all the time throughout this pandemic. But like That's I said, a good earlier, thing? Well, no, like, no, I'm just saying like, I don't have that much, like that good of stuff to say, except for I'm able to pass one of my classes that I wasn't able to pass before. Mm. Like productive, yay, but at what cost? Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Uh, now that I'm like free, it's, I don't know. That's, I don't really have it. <laughs> mm. Yeah, okay. That's good. Um, what about you, Jason? Yeah, Jason. Uh, as as for me, you? as for me, I feel like uh, I'm kind of like the same with Josh. Like it's been, uh, it's given me the opportunity to just like slow down and just being being able to like be at home you know we're always like being rushed by like our day-to-day lives and mm-hmm. it's, so it's good to like be forced to slow down like everyone wants to say like i just need time off sometimes to just like focus on me and now we have the opportunity to and we kind of have to um also um i have finally gone back to therapy which is 
Amazing. You might, you might recall back to an old Real Talk Central episode where uh, I said that I was going to be working on going back. I finally made it happen, so that's good. How long ago was that? Um, <laughs> it actually, <laughs> that, that episode was uh, last summer, so it, kinda Jesus. Took, it took me long enough. Um, but but that, that's, that's exactly my point. Like, because like, we're in quarantine, like, that was like, my opportunity to finally do that's it, I guess. chance. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's good. Um, other than that, you know, just uh, I'm picking back on um, picking back up on YouTube, so that's good. Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to be recording more of these episodes. Uh, I guess that kind of segues into the last question. Um, what are we going to do right after this whole thing is done? I'm not going to really rush into anything because. <laughs> Once this, what? you're already doing that right now. <laughs> like, but like, the thing is, I don't want to. I'm not gonna rush back into like a normal. I'm not. I'm gonna try not to rush into a normal everyday life, just because I know that's what Everything. everyone's gonna be doing. Everything's gonna be cluttered more than it ever was at the start. Mm-hmm. Gas prices are gonna be so fucked. Oh my god! How much is gas right now? Like a like dollar. Two fifteen. Jesus. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> One of the more positive things that I think came out of this whole thing wasn't like didn't particularly happen to me or anything it's just I think that people like recognized that um there are that the people that are your cashiers stocking stuff for you doing all that that they're necessary because yeah, people they actually just, matter yeah because people would just be used to treating them like garbage so now they're putting some respect you on them to, you really yeah, to appreciate like the things that you really took for granted I think oh you know? yeah yeah, because the, like the people who are it's like, oh, you just work at like McDonald's, you're nothing. They're they're literally running this country. Yeah. The people who work at Walmart, um, and the <laughs> viewers that are you guys can't see what's going on, but Ralph just broke his chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh sorry, Jason, go. Ralph go, is floor go. gang now. Floor gang, ooh, floor gang, ooh. <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> shit. I'm Hard on the floor too. Oh um, so yeah, um, okay, uh, while Ralph gets situated, uh, I guess we'll just go to Josh. Or it's long enough. Wait, what was the question again? <laughs> um, what are you going to do once this is all done? Oh, honestly, I hope I can go through with what I was saying before, like actually <clears throat> taking that leap and seeing if, if I can make something work out of this. Mm-hmm. Because if I can't, then that's five that's five months of me trying something else rather than still going for something that I don't like. Exactly. And that's what's important. Last person, Jacob, what um what are you gonna I, do once this is done? Probably do the same thing I've been doing, going to school, playing baseball and trying to play video games whenever I can. Bro, get a new hobby. We <laughs> are his hobby. Hey, Josh. <laughs> Well, we yeah, are going to okay, be making new videos. Shut up. So, so as for me, I think once this is done, I'm going to get right back to work um, at the cupcake shop because I need, I really need to make up for all this lost time. I'm going to be picking up like all these extra hours. Um, also, um, I, I'm going to be picking back up on the marching band season because we're still trying to figure out what's going to be going on with that. I'm the assistant drumline section leader next year. Um, so we, we've been having meetings on how we're going to go about this new season. So uh, I'm going to be focusing on that. And also generally, I'm just going to be back in school again. So yeah, but I feel like working and like saving up money is going to be like my main priority. Um, but I still want to continue with YouTube even after this is done. So yeah. Um, so that was, that was pretty much all of our questions that we wanted to answer. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Real Talk Central. Um, like I said, we, uh, we plan to be back in the full swing of things. Uh, like I said before, be sure to follow our Instagram, Real Talk Central Podcast. That is where you could uh, get sneak peek on, um, the next coming videos. So as behind the scenes, as well as leaving suggestions on what you want to hear and possibly being a guest on the show. Um, and while you guys are here and while we are all here, uh, I just want to plug our new channel, Schwam Squad. Uh, this is going to be a channel that we all have, we're just going to be uploading on. It's going to be uh, videos much like this one where we're going to be um, playing like different games and doing different challenges. We actually have two 
pre-recorded videos that we uh, want to get out to you guys. Um, I'm actually going to link the channel mm -hmm. below. So um, make sure you go visit that. And because um, if you liked what you heard today and you want to see more of us, you're definitely going to like Shwam. So yeah, um, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for uh, listening to this episode of Real Talk Central Podcast. Um, we'll see you guys next time. See you in the car. Bye. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Thank you.